This poll said that Filipino Americans are the friendliest Asians, and it said Korean Americans are the most insular, but this poll is about 10 years old. So, David, has anything changed? Oh, man, I feel like these polls are always fun. By the way, they're not 100% accurate. They may differ from your own individual experience, mm -hmm. but based off my time spent in various Asian enclaves, I don't know, I might kind of agree. <laughs> All right, guys, by the way, we want to note for anybody watching and you're like, hey, these numbers in the corner look pretty low. This is just for the answer of what is very well. There's also a whole nother category that was pretty well and that made up actually larger percentages. So just to keep that in mind. So what we are about to do is get into every single Asian group and why they rank this way on like who is getting along and who's not getting along. By the way, guys, we're not saying we're fully agreeing with it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And Andrew, let's get into number one the friendliest asian group that gets along the best with everybody the filipinos <laughs> Well, here's why, guys. And, you know, if you have Filipino friends and you've met their families, they are very warm people. They have a warm culture. I mean, let's just look at Jollibee's for a second. Hello, welcome to Jollibee's. Have a jolly day. Like, that is the friendliest and most happy greeting of any fast food chain ever in the world. Yeah, I think that Thai people could be here too, but they didn't have the population to like rank obviously on the study. They're not a large enough group. Yeah, and when you think about Filipinos mixing with others, I mean, I think one, historically speaking, Filipino men of the Asian men did mix the most and marry out the right, most. there's a history Asians. of it. We can yeah. pop up the photos right here, but not only that, I think it's a mixed country even historically, right. a lot of them have Spanish last names. A lot of them are Chinese blood. A lot of their 23 Me's might look, I guess, more diverse slice by slice wise than even uh, the average other Asian from another Asian country's 23 Me. Yeah, you know, hey, we are Filipinos. We're very warm. And hey, we are having a backyard barbecue. Why don't you bring your friends and we'll get the whole lechon? Oh, and a lot of the uh, mixed Asian athletes like in the NBA are actually part Filipino. For decades, even Robert Townsend, who's like, I think a fourth Filipino back in the day, he he was still part Indian Americans. Um, they are right below the Filipinos on the most friendliest, but friendliest also meaning that they kind of mix with other groups a lot. Right. I would say that Indians are really interesting because I think that Indians super mix with other groups when they hang out, but when they marry, I, I think there's statistics to back this up. They typically marry another Indian. Mm, yeah. So it's like, yeah, man, we're going to hang out with everybody. But when it comes to marriage, I would prefer like another Indian. Hey, you know, David, uh, there's another reason why Indians are like mix a lot, man. I, I think sometimes it helps if you're a little uh, ethnically ambiguous, man. Like people get people don't know what I am. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, maybe even for Filipinos, too. I just thought about it because Filipinos are Catholic. A lot of Indians are Hindu and Muslim. Right. But um, yeah, I would say that both those groups at the top of getting along with each other could be mistaken for other groups sometimes. Yeah, I do think it plays into why there's so many Indian CEOs in America. If you watch our video that we did on Indian CEOs, it all kind of ties together, but we won't get into all that. Um, who's next? The Japanese. I mm. think the Japanese one is a little confusing to people because people are like, you know, I don't even know like a second gen Japanese person. You know why that is, Andrew? Most of them live in Japan. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mostly the ones that you're going to meet in America are what, third, fourth, fifth, even potentially sixth generation from like the old days. Let's just say Japanese from Japan, they know that country's pretty dope. So they weren't like only trying to move over to America. And also I think the internment camps, it didn't make a lot of like Japanese move back to Japan. Um, so yeah, there's not that many Japanese Americans. So I'm guessing that these numbers, to be honest, were polling a lot of like third, fourth generation and Japanese. And maybe the East, other East Asian numbers like uh, Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese could approach these numbers eventually like as, as yeah, a trend over generations. Yeah, because I think the other groups are highly immigrant groups. Yeah, That's moving I mean. to the last three, which are, I guess, like the ones that didn't... Uh, by the way, it doesn't mean that they don't get along. They just don't get along polled on a very well basis. Right. We got Vietnamese, Chinese, and Korean in that order. Andrew, what are we talking about Vietnamese people here? Uh, I think Vietnamese, uh, one, yes, they are uh, an immigrant group. I do think like English level amongst them as a general, I'm just not saying individual Vietnamese people, obviously guys, I'm just talking about in general. It is a very fobby group. It's just like Chinese and Korean. Still got a lot of fobs. Yeah, a lot of my Viet yeah. friends, their parents do not speak English. Yeah, and, and fobs or immigrants, they generally are a little bit more insular. However, I do think Vietnamese and this is a generalization, but they're like not scared. No, we're not scared, they're man. not scared, man. We ready for action, man. I was always wondering what's like what the other groups are Yo. doing, man. Yeah. If they got something fun, 
I'm not scared to be a part of it. Man. When I talk to Vietnamese friends, whether it's men or women, they seem still pretty open about dating all different types of people. No, they know who they are. They yeah. have a very strong Vietnamese identity, but they're just not, they're like, yeah, let's go check out what everybody else yeah, got yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. And I think that that really contrasts them with the next group on here, Chinese. Because I think like Chinese are the most cautious or possibly, Andrew, too, I don't want to use this word too lightly, scared. Yeah, I mean, I think that Chinese have been around for a while, and there's a lot of different types of Chinese groups. So the Chinese group here is by far the largest in population, right? And that also includes newly arrived immigrants and even third generation Chinese. Or which, people from like 100 years ago. Or even fourth generation, right? But I would say primarily it's third, second, and first gen. Yeah, I think Chinese generation. is a really interesting group because you could have came like 120 years ago, or you could have came like 12 days ago. Yeah, so here's the thing. When you look at the Chinese and Korean numbers, they look kind of low in the corner, but that's because actually when you asked them how they felt on the pretty well scale, they put a lot of their weight in the pretty well, just not very right, right. well. It's not like very well and then very not well. Yeah. Those were not the only two options. It was a, a gradient type yeah, situation. Yeah, but I think it's because Chinese are kind of like, yeah, you know, like uh, we don't uh, really love anybody, but we don't hate anybody yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> One of the traits that you guys, it's very difficult to describe to people if you're not actually Chinese, is the lukewarmness of Chinese people. Like, we are lukewarm when we like something. We're kind of lukewarm when we hate something. The oscillation is in a very tight range versus, like, you l love something and then you hate something versus you love something you hate Yeah, something. you know, I just want to stay in the middle between sort of dislike and sort of prefer you know that's that's yeah. really the sweet spot you know and and you know just just, just, just like i like my dessert you not know, too sweet not too sweet but but not not too spicy you know, i i never been fully that type of person but i have to admit that like the culture that i come from i guess the majority of people more have that sure. attitude about the, things the generalization of chinese people that's what we're talking about here guys all right last group korean um at the bottom i don't think it's what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> like why why does it matter that we're at the bottom like we we just happen to like ourselves more yeah no no and and listen i don't think it's because koreans like hate other people i think it's because koreans they are <laughs> they they have been known in the past to be an insular group and now both historically probably yeah. and in america yeah, i right? think yeah. they came over here with the most specific plan of all the asian immigrants yeah like, yeah, the most, re I think the other immigrants, they b either had half a plan or maybe didn't even have a no, plan because some before of them, they came over. I think some of them came over and be like, yo, we just got to survive in America. And then other people didn't have a plan. We're not really a, a group together. I would say that's maybe more Chinese. But Koreans, they were like, oh, okay, like, let's all, we're going to like go to church and then we like do business together. Yeah. And then we're going to like build like the K-Town and then they, we're, we're going to make the K-Town cool so that people want to come to the K-Town. So, you know, like- Right, right, right. And, 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 and together- by the way, this study was from 2012 where K-Towns at that time 10 years ago were almost exclusively 90% Korean. They, they were a little Nowadays, bit, I think yeah. they've uh, opened up. They're getting so much money from so many different demographics. They're like, you know, like we used to more view it adversarial, but it's okay <laughs> now. Like as long as everybody yeah. likes the Korean culture, then it's good. Yeah, I mean, I think that could, the Korean group saw the biggest swing that if you were to do this same survey and poll today in 2023, I think those numbers of very well would change. But remember, like I said, the Korean and Chinese and all these other groups, most of the weight was in pretty well, right. just not very well. So don't, people out there, you know, we got to think like, you know, Asians aren't hating on you for any reason. I but, guess, um, what do you think? Because I thought it was interesting because like the Korean group uh, 10 years ago ranked at the very bottom in terms of getting along with both other Asians as well as other groups of people. But they, over the last 10 years, they built the, also the highest profile systems, soft power, and pop culture. I mean, that just goes to show you what happens when you have a plan. I mean, you know, like there's obviously Chinese uh, enclaves. We always talk about this, man. I'm going to say it again. Guys, we have so many Chinese in America, so many Chinese in New York City. But how many there, Chinese bars do we have that are actually like cool, oh, that are Chinese themed? We have like four. You know, I did this joke that I have a joke for like almost just, every group. Right? I'll just do the, do joke. the joke. So for, for example, and this is according to the chart. So the chart sort of verifies the joke. I feel like the plan for the Filipinos, they were over there in the Philippines going, oh, where are we going to immigrate? Um, uh, who, who's cool over there? Okay, make sure the plan is to make sure that they like us. Okay, so we want the cool people to like us. So th then that's what happened. Wherever they immigrate, everybody likes Filipinos yeah. and Filipinos are likable likewise. Um, I feel like Indian people, you know, they had definitely different plans, but they're probably just like, hey man, whatever we do, man, talk to everybody, but stick together. <laughs>
you know, so that's why they talk with everybody. But then maybe when it comes to the merit stats, it's more together. Um, I didn't really know what the Japanese plan was. Vietnamese, I felt like it was just really like, hey, man, we're going to either end up in Yale. We might end up in jail, man. <laughs> I think Chinese, it was almost like, uh, you know, hey, 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 everybody, everybody. Here's the plan, okay? Everybody listen up. The plan is... There is no plan. Just be scared of everybody, okay? Oh. Other Asians are scary. White people scary. Black people scary. Everybody <laughs> is scary. And then Koreans kind of had the, hey, everybody, we're going to like treat each other like Jesus, okay? Everybody be good to each other. But only other Koreans. <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. That's it's just a joke, guys. Yeah, it's and funny. By the way, it's not even a joke that I fully developed to refinement. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, you guys let us know what you think about this ranking. Will anything change in the upcoming years? Has it changed? Is there a new ranking? I think personally that the order of countries or ethnicities probably stays the same even in 2023, but the numbers are a little bit higher. Oh, yeah. I everything. think everybody's getting along better now. I think Maybe even the 50 or 60 year olds, I could see it being unchanged, but the people that are under 25, they're way more open, not just within inter Asian uh -huh. pings, but like outside of the community yeah. as well. Yeah, and, and I know that I, I think that there, because there's some, there has been some things like Asian hate before, like, you know, recently. So some people think like, oh, these numbers would be vastly different. I think overall for most people's lives, everybody's mixing in a more positive way. Of course, there are still incidences and there's still that wave of things that still happen. Still side comments yeah, that people probably make But here and overall, there. if you made me bet on the macro, people are mixing more. It's just there is a little bit more complications, right? With the whole like anti-China thing and everything like that. But anyways, uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. I thought yeah, it was let a, us know what you think of like inter-Asian relationships as well as relationships with other communities. And you know us, I mean, we're very supportive of just like everybody getting along, man. Hey, everybody's going to be here. Let's have good lives. Let's just try to figure it out. All right, everybody. You are watching the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.